haul recently where I mentioned the $6 backpack total face kit. Just randomly decided to try this out from Elf's website. It comes with a teeny tiny compact, like it's smaller than my iPhone, and it has eight eyeshadows in it and then some lip colors and a blush. It also comes with a little lip gloss and a mascara. So being as affordable as it is, many of you wanted to see this kit in action, and so I thought I would show you that today with a couple of different looks. Um, the first one, very quick, easy, natural. I mean, the eye look is so, so simple for this, so I'll show you that. And then the other look is more dramatic, definitely. This little palette contains some shades that can go very dark and smoky. It's actually very easy to take that first look and transition it into a great fall smoky eye. So first off, here's a little how-to on the look I'm wearing right now. Alrighty, my first step was to apply some primer to my eye. I use this Milani eyeshadow primer. Use whatever you want and I didn't necessarily put that on to like enhance the pigmentation of these shadows I really just wanted to give them a little extra something to cling to and just improve the staying power and my eyes do tend to feel a little bit deep set sometimes like it's a long way back in there to the inner corner so anytime I have a light kind of brightening shadow I really try to take advantage of that by just dabbing it right around that inner corner and I'm just using my Sonia Kashuk small shadow brush and then I'm going into this bronzy kind of bronzy coppery shade and I'm gonna take that all over my lid and this is kind of going to be done like a one shadow look you know just a really quick easy thing that you can you know pop this shade all over your lid you can pull it into the crease and before you know it you're pretty much done without having to add in anything darker, unless you wanted to. I think we always need those quick go-to looks. And one thing to be aware of with this particular palette, um, when you tap into the shadows, they can be a bit powdery, so I always tap off the excess um, just to make it easier for myself once I get it on my face so I'm not having a lot of cleanup to do. Um, so I got a little bit on a fluffier brush. This is my Sigma E25. And I'm just going to take that back and forth in the crease. And I'm going to slightly start pulling that shadow upward. You can see how it's kind of faded up right over here. So same effect on this eye. Then I'm just going to grab another fluffy brush. This is my Sigma E40. Tap right into the white shadow here. And just dust that lightly under the brow. Under the eye, going back to that bronzy shade. Just going to smudge a little bit of that on the lower lash line. It's going to um, provide, oops, I got a little extra there. Um, it's going to provide some definition here without looking too dark. If you wanted to, you could take a little bit of this brown shade here and maybe just get a little bit of that in the outer corner if you like an even more defined look. And then just to finish things off, I'm using a black pencil. This happens to be the Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes in Onyx, but Go for any, you know, any black pencil that you like. I find this one just very quick and easy to apply. And I'm just going to, from my inner corner to my outer corner here. No funny business on the outside, just gonna give myself just natural straight across definition. And the easiest trick ever to really wake up your eyes is to apply something kind of nude, creamy colored right there in the waterline. I've got my Milani Shadow Eyes handy in almond cream. And so I'm just going to very gently pull downward and let that brightness come in there. Next up, I'm just going to give the lashes a curl. And then I am going to use the mascara that comes with this kit. It is the Lengthening and Defining Mascara. So here's a look at that brush. It's not a huge brush. Um, reminds me kind of of Maybelline Great Lash, both with the formula and the brush. I find that it has a really hard time um, cleaning itself off as you pull it out of the tube, especially right here where the brush hooks onto the wand. There's a lot of excess product, so be aware of that. Kind of clean that off a little bit if you can, or dab it on a tissue first. And then just a quick application of this. Um, this kind of is a heavy feeling mascara on my lashes. I can tell that because even after I curl them, it doesn't take long for them to straighten right back out again, so it kind of pulls the curl out. That's just my experience, though, with this product. 
if you've got naturally curly and thick lashes, you might really enjoy this. And because that overloaded mascara wand kind of scares me on the lower lashes, I'm going to take my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Water Resistant, and that's what I am going to use here on my lower lash line. It really does a good job of not like applying too much product to those really little lashes down there. I've of course already got my foundation and concealer and some powder and bronzer on, but I am going to take this blush that's part of the kit here. Kind of a pretty peachy shade. It doesn't have too much shimmer to it, but a little bit. And just pick that up on my blush brush and apply that right here on the cheeks. Really a pretty blush option for, I would say, light to medium skin tones. Um, tan and deeper skin tones may struggle to make this show up very well, just so you know. And then we're gonna top things off with the lip gloss that was included in this kit. And this is a creamy pink. If I look real closely, I can see just a little bit of shimmer in this as well. But pretty color and less sheer than you might expect. I mean, I feel like it's definitely showing up here on my lips without me having to build it up too terribly much. So yeah, fabulous lip color there. I really enjoy it. Does not feel too sticky, um, but not too like slide off your lips greasy either. Surprisingly nice texture there, I like it. Now I wanna show you how I built off of that first look to get this smoky eye, and also kind of an unexpected way that I got this deep berry lip out of this palette. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do to take this from like everyday bronze to a nice fall smoky eye, uh, I'm gonna to go to this beautiful burgundy shade here in the palette with my small shadow brush. I'm gonna just start patting this right here on the outer part of my lid just to build up some depth there. I'm also going to use my E25 kind of fluffy blending brush and get that right there in that outer part of the crease and start pulling that inward. So now instead of just having that bronzy shade in there, we're building up some darkness and a little bit different tone. So once you've got that all blended out, I'm going into this black shade. Um, it does have a little sparkle, but I don't find that that really translates onto the eye very much. But I'm layering that right here in the outermost corner, getting that just a little bit up into the crease as well. Again, these shadows are nicely pigmented, but um, the amount of fallout they can create can make them a little tricky, but I think you can totally like sidestep that issue if you tap off the excess. And you can just bring in your blending brush and kind of go over that outer corner, make sure it's all buffed in together. And one thing I want to do also with the top part here, I want to continue to tie in this pretty bronzy coppery shade. And so with my tiny E36 blending type brush, I'm going to apply that right over the border of everything, give it a really nice soft diffused border here. Kind of building it upward a little bit here at the outer corner. If you want to kind of refresh your highlight, you can go back to that white shade and just get a little more of that up under the brow. Then for the underside of the eye, we're just making this a lot more smoky, so I'm going to the burgundy with my smudge brush. And something I'm trying to do when I smudge shadows on my lower lash line, trying to get a little more comfortable with going a little lower, you know, letting it be just a little more smoky as opposed to really confined to that lash line. So feel free to, to blend downward as much as you feel comfortable with. And I also think it's pretty if you add in some bronze as well. So starting from the inward area and just go right underneath. Now I am going to leave that brightened waterline there because I just, I don't know, I'm really liking the way that looks. But if you wanted to add even more depth, um, you could just kind of sweep a Q-tip over that and instead add something maybe like a brown or a bronze or black or something in that area. And I am going to add some lashes. I'm using my Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. They came as part of this little four pack from Walmart. So as always, I've used my Revlon Precision Lash Glue. I applied that to the lash band, let that get a little tacky for about 45 seconds or so and then just apply this right on top of that liner which of course we already had that on there from the first part of the tutorial and then just secure down um, your inner and outer corners make sure the middle part of the band is secure and make sure they're kind of tipped up also so they're not kind of cutting down um, onto your eye space and while that glue is drying I'm gonna toss on one more coat of mascara here on the lower lashes 
just to give them a little more drama, um, help them balance out the fuller lashes on top now. Okay, it's kind of like we just went from school day to homecoming dance there on the eyes. Um, on the lips, you could keep the glossy pink lip from before. Just to switch up the look, I'm going to blot that off. And instead, I'm going to use some colors from this lip palette with a little lip brush. So I'm going into the red. And I'm just going to apply that all over with my brush. While these colors in this little palette are kind of glossy, you know, kind of a creamy, shiny finish. Um, they are pretty pigmented as well. But I feel like since I'm really thinking fall with this look, I really want to go deeper. I'm going to try something a little crazy. I'm going to go into this like burgundy purplish color here that we used on the eyes. And I'm going to start dabbing that right on the outer part of the lip. I know it's looking scary right now. <laughs> I'm just going to blend that in. Literally just mixing this on my lips right now, and I'm going to pull some up to the upper as well. Alrighty, so now that that's all incorporated, we've got quite the deep berry thing going on here. And I think I'm just going to dab right into this peachy color and just give myself a little hint of something right there on the center of the lower lip with that. Just a little bit of shine and fullness. So there's the finished look for my dramatic twist on this little palette. I really like the way these shadows blend, and even though, you know, you may have to keep an eye on the fallout a little bit, they are still really nicely pigmented. Plus, I enjoy having these extra lip colors here. The blush is really pretty as well. I'm definitely a fan of the little pink gloss. Not so much the lengthening and defining mascara. But you know what? Six bucks for the whole kit. I think this little palette alone is worth more than six bucks. And while it does say total face kit, it is a lot of the color cosmetics you might need, but there is no eyeliner in there. Um, obviously not the foundation and concealer stuff either, so just keep that in mind. You know, these are some accents to your look. But, you know, I think this little palette is particularly very handy, um, very easy to maybe take with you on the go, keep in your purse, take your look from day to night. So I hope this video was helpful to you, gave you a couple of ideas if you also decided to pick up that kit, or maybe you just have some similar shades lurking around your collection. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!